Hey, what's going on fam? It's your sister Michelle here talking to you today on this hot, hot day. Yes, it's hot where I'm at. Is it hot where you're at? Drop down and let me know. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm wishing you nothing but love and light on your beautiful journey because you deserve it. You're important, special, wonderful, have so much to give. A lot more than you should have gave to the NARC, but we're guilty of it. And even when you give those things out, trust me when I tell you, it's coming back to you. I know you don't understand it. You, you know, it's a trip. You don't even understand how is this coming back? Because you're in a space that you, you know, you just can't understand it. But trust me when I tell you, every good thing that you did, it might hurt right now. But it's a good thing for you. And I'm going to keep encouraging each and every one of you because I love you. And I'm going to always encourage you all and let you know how fabulous I think you are. And I know that you are. Anybody that dealt with a narcissist is still standing. Guess what? You got to be something special. And your sister thinks you're special. I do. I love you so much. Listen, this video right here is about the narcissist. And when they get with a new supply and they find out that they got gooped, led astray, bamboozled, and even so much played by the new supply. Well, let me say this. Let's start off like this. My grandma always told me, and I talk about granny on this channel all the time. Not just granny. Of course, she gave me this wisdom when I was younger and I didn't understand it. But now I do understand it. The way you find people is the way that you lose them. Right? You find someone that's broken, the relationship usually ends up, you know, not working because that person is broken. You find somebody that's in a relationship and they were cheating on you with this other person, more than likely they break up because that person is cheating on them. If you find a narcissist, which we talk about all the time, and they're narcissistic when you meet them, more than likely the reason why the shit don't work out is because, guess what? They're a narcissist, right? But when they run into a person who's just as narcissistic, if not, you know, even, even if they're not narcissistic, they just don't give a damn. Yes, there are so many people out here in this world who don't give a damn about nothing but self. That, I know it screams narcissist, but everybody that feels that way is not narcissistic. There are a lot of people in this world who are like, if you can't give me what I want, I'm out of here. And some of that can be extremely healthy, to be honest, because sometimes I'd be like, I wish I would have had that mindset, but I'm an empath. So you know how us empaths are. We try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. So everybody that's like that is not narcissistic, but when a narcissist runs into a person that has the same mindset, I don't care if they're narcissists or not, that they have, like, you have no value to me if you're not doing X, Y, and Z for me. And when they meet their match, it's so amazing how when that happens to them, everything they ever said to you and thought about you and they expressed to you ends up becoming the same exact thing that comes in their way. Now, let me tell you something, story time. Now, you all know my situation. I was with a narc for too many years. Well, too many years. I should, too many years too long. But it is what it is. And I will say this. Story time. I recently have heard. Now, I don't interact with the rat. I mean, I've had times in the past that I told you stories about my interaction with him and things that have popped up between us. And just like I tell all of you, it's a learning process. You learn what to do and not to do. And I'm learning. And I, as I learn, I tell you all the truth. You're my family. And I have made mistakes. And you have, you know, you all have come in here and be like, sis, you shouldn't have done that. And I'll look back and I'm, you know, and I'm like, yeah, my family is right. Maybe certain things I shouldn't have done when I get upset, but I'm human and we make mistakes. But guess what? We live and we learn, right? So at the end of the day, let me say this. I don't deal with him anymore on any kind of level. I used to go over there and try to get money and stuff. You know that if you watch my other videos and I've tried to, and it always leads to some bullshit. And it also makes me look like I'm the one who still want to interact with the rat. And I completely get it because I was letting, you know, let it even interfere with me at all. Yes, I have kids and it's not easy, but I had to learn a little bit too extra. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to you all. Just like I'll be trying to help you. Thank you all for saying, sis, uh-uh, check that shit. And I checked it. Thank y'all. I love you for having my back like I have yours. But anyway, I don't interact with him anymore. So I only hear things from people in the street that we've known for, you know, we both equally have known. Um, I might run into people here and there that know him. Well, long story short. Just recently, last week, fam, I ran into the same friend I told you we, we both had in the past. If you watch my videos, I hadn't seen him in a while since the last time we talked about it. And I ran into him again. Actually, he was in my neighborhood and we ran into each other. And we said we talked about so many things. Not just about the narc now. I got other stuff to talk about now. Back in the day, I'd have been talking about just his ass. But anyway, so we talked about so many things. And then finally got to the situation where he asked, have I seen him or the kids have seen him? And I said, no, we, you know, I haven't seen him in a while. He hasn't interacted with the kids. I haven't heard anything from him. 
And then he goes to say, because he's, I guess, you know, like I said, he's my friend and he's his associate because, you know, no narcissists don't have real friends. So anyway, his friend associate. And he was like, I have been over there. And the girl that he's with now, the supply that he ended up being with, the one that I told you he did all this stuff with me for, is he said, I was over there and she is telling him now he's a bum. He's lazy. He ain't shit. As a matter of fact, she is um, white. He is black. And it's gotten to a point now where she's calling him the N-word all the time. Hmm. Well, we don't play with that word. White, black, whatever. That's a word we don't play with. But anyway, but I remember when I was with him, that was one of the hurtful things he used to say to me as a black man. You black n B. You black nigga bitch. I'm going to keep it real. You know, I ain't going to it. Black nigga bitch. You ugly nigga bitch. And I used to be like, why does he say, you're a black man. Why are you saying that? I told you this in my other videos. Well, now he's with someone. Who the guy is telling me that she is just as vicious and not worse because she is in his household living off of him and calling him all these things. When they run into somebody just like them that knows the game better or don't give a fuck at all, they end up getting the karma of what the, you know what I'm saying? What they put out to you, it comes back to them in that sense. You know what I'm saying? The new supply, when they're just as toxic or worse, they can't tell. They catch hell for that. So he was telling me he's, the girl's calling him the N-word and this and that. And I'm like, well, is he doing anything about it? What does he say? I mean, that's crazy to me, right? Well, I would be going crazy. He was like, well, he doesn't say anything. He just sits there and takes it and acts like it's not nothing. And no matter what she does, she's out here doing this. And she's destroyed the family household. And she's come in as a demon, right? Demons attract demons, right? Be careful what you say at your mouth. Now, she's in the situation where she's just destroyed everything. And she is destroying him to the 10th power. And when it happens to a narcissist, it's definitely their karma. But it's also, I think, to a certain degree, maybe an awakening. Like, watch what you say. Words are powerful. You had a good supply. You did this and that. And you know what I'm saying? You mistreated them. And exactly the things that they say about you, the universe, God divine, will bring that straight to their table so they can see what a real person that don't care looks like. But they can see what a real bitch looks like or a real person that's lazy looks like. They come into the light, you know what I'm saying, to show them something so 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 much about a reflection of who they really are. See, we were not a reflection of who they were. We are a reflection of what they want to be. Those kind of people come in and show them a reflection of what you really are, what people really see about you. Because we want to give them the benefit of the doubt with empaths. And we want to try, like I said in my other video, to uplift them to places that they don't even deserve. We just, because we're there, we want to lift up, you know, lift them up to those levels. But when they run into their equal or someone worse, that person shows the narcissist exactly the trash that they truly are. Not just showing them by a reflection of what's going on, just even their mouth. Like I just said, they'll come straight out and tell the narc what they are. They'll come out and tell the narc they're not worth anything. They'll come tell the narcissist they're lazy. They're stupid. They're dumb. And they stay in the situation kind of like what we did. But it's worse for them. Oh, it's definitely worse. And I don't, I told you in my other video, I don't know why this light keeps going out. It just keeps going out. And I have to fix it. I don't know what's going on, fam. Please forgive that. I'm going to keep making my videos. Ain't nothing going to stop me. But at the end of the day, listen to me when I tell you. The new supply, when they run into people that are just as equal, as evil as they are, oh, the narcissist gets a fucking quick shift, a kick in the ass. Everything they said about you and thought about you will come your way. That's why the power of the tongue is so important. That's why my grandma always says, you know, we got to talk about Nani on here. Nani has always told the wisdom, be careful what you say because it speaks life into shit. They spoke life into their own destruction. They spoke life into not knowing what a good person looks like. But since you can't acknowledge it, you've spoken life into a person that's going to come in and be exactly what you said and thought that I was not. The new supply, when they come in and they're worse than the narc, the narc gets a fucking taste of their own medicine. And it's even worse a lot of times than what we gave out. Because at this point, they're lost in confusion. And now this person is making them reflect on everything they felt bad about themselves anyway. Now this person is bringing it to the surface when we kept it at bay to a certain degree, right? The narcissist is sitting not only in their own pain of who they know that they truly are. They're being verbally and mentally assaulted by the one thing they thought they were winning with.
Ain't that funny? Listen to me when I tell you. I'm seeing it firsthand. No, nobody else is telling you I'm seeing it firsthand. That's just part of the story. I can tell you more about the story. But it's going down over there where he's at. Because when he has something decent, like a lot of you all have someone decent. You know, the, the narc has something decent in you, I should say. Now you're suffering for what you put out and what came out of your mouth and your thoughts. Baby, it's deep. The narcissist gets a taste of their own medicine with a new supply. Yeah, especially if they're just as toxic. We're talking about the ones that's just as toxic now. The ones who are even more toxic. They ultimately brought that into their own space. Without even fucking knowing it. By attacking you. And I know it sounds crazy. It doesn't make sense. But everything that they did to you. And the way they treated you. And the way they talked to you. And the words that came out their mouth. Attracted. The same exact thing. They talk shit to you about. Ain't it crazy? They ain't going to tell you. Narcissus didn't tell me. I just heard about it. And a lot of times we will hear about it in the streets or get wind of it. Because they're never going to tell you they lost. Or they found somebody that is really all the things they're trying to make you be. Well, you know that. Let's see, sister. The new supply gives them a taste of their own medicine. And you better believe that shit. They need some medicine. Sick looking bitches. Them and the new supply. YouTube, I said it. Shit. Penicillin can't cure these motherfuckers. Dirty asses. I love you so much. Remember that shit. Bye.